Welcome to our journey through Italy's remarkable contributions to the world. From ancient times to modern days, Italy has been a cradle of innovation, creativity, and ingenuity. Let's explore 10 incredible Italian inventions that changed the world. Our first stop takes us back to the early 17th century, a time when the world was still largely a mystery. It was in this era of discovery that Santorio Santorio, an Italian physician, made a groundbreaking invention. In 1612, Santorio changed all that with the invention of the first crude thermometer, which he called the thermoscope. Santorio's thermoscope, while rudimentary by today's standards, was a pivotal moment in medical history. It allowed physicians for the first time to quantify body temperature, paving the way for more accurate diagnoses and treatments. The ability to measure temperature was crucial for the development of countless other fields, from meteorology to manufacturing. The thermometer in its many forms has become an indispensable tool, shaping our understanding of the world around us. Our journey takes us now to the heart of the Italian Renaissance, a period brimming with artistic innovation. In 1709, Bartolomeo Cristofori, a skilled harpsichord maker from Padua, unveiled an instrument that would change the course of music history, the piano. Cristofori called his invention the Gravisimbalo col piano e forte, meaning harpsichord with soft and loud. This innovative instrument employed hammers to strike the strings, allowing for a dynamic range never before heard in a keyboard instrument. The piano's ability to play both soft and loud notes, its versatility in expressing a wide array of emotions, captivated composers and audiences alike. From the delicate sonatas of Mozart to the thunderous concertos of Beethoven, the piano became the voice of a new musical era, and its influence continues to resonate today, shaping the landscape of music across genres. Our exploration of Italian ingenuity now takes us to the dawn of the 20th century, an era on the cusp of technological revolution. In 1895, a young Italian inventor named Guglielmo Marconi achieved what many thought impossible. He sent the first wireless telegraph signals over a distance of two kilometers. Marconi, born in Bologna, was fascinated by the invisible waves of electromagnetism. He believed that these waves could be harnessed to transmit messages without the need for wires. Marconi's wireless telegraph revolutionized communication, connecting continents and transforming warfare. His work earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 and laid the foundation for the development of radio as we know it today. From the crackling voices of early broadcasts to the sophisticated digital signals of today, radio continues to connect us across the globe, a testament to Marconi's groundbreaking vision. Our journey through Italian innovation now leads us to the realm of electricity, a field that would redefine the modern world. In 1800, Alessandro Volta, a physicist from Como, made a discovery that would electrify the world. Volta had been experimenting with different metals and liquids attempting to find a way to generate a continuous flow of electricity. His breakthrough came when he stacked alternating disks of zinc and copper, separated by cloth, soaked in salt water. This simple yet ingenious contraption dubbed the Voltaic Pile was the world's first electric battery. It provided scientists with a reliable source of electric current, fueling a wave of discoveries in electromagnetism and paving the way for the development of the electric motor, the telegraph, and countless other inventions. Today, batteries power everything from smartphones to spacecraft, a testament to the enduring legacy of Volta's groundbreaking invention. Our exploration of Italian ingenuity takes us back to the medieval period, a time when knowledge was precious and access to it was limited. Around the year 1284, in the bustling city of Florence, a breakthrough occurred that would transform how we see the world. While the exact inventor remains a subject of debate, Salvino Darmat is often credited with creating the first wearable eyeglasses. These early spectacles, though simple by today's standards, were a revelation. They used convex lenses to magnify images, correcting farsightedness and allowing people to see clearly for the first time. The invention of eyeglasses had a profound impact on society. It improved the quality of life for countless individuals, allowing them to read, write, and work with greater ease. From the scholar poring over ancient texts to the artist capturing the world in intricate detail, eyeglasses became an indispensable tool, expanding our horizons and enriching our understanding of the world. 
Our journey through Italian invention now leads us to the heart of the Industrial Revolution, a time of unprecedented technological advancement. In the late 18th century, a weaver from Turin named Jacopo Pontelli envisioned a way to automate the creation of complex textile patterns. His invention, a loom controlled by punched cards, laid the groundwork for a revolution in textile production. It was Joseph Marie Jacquard, a French weaver and inventor, who perfected Pontelli's concept in the early 19th century, creating the Jacquard loom. This groundbreaking machine used a series of punched cards to control the weaving process, allowing for the creation of intricate patterns with unprecedented speed and precision. The Jacquard loom's impact extended far beyond the textile industry. Its use of punched cards to store and process information foreshadowed the development of computer programming. Our exploration of Italian ingenuity now takes us to the 17th century, a time when science was beginning to unlock the mysteries of the natural world. In 1643, Evangelista Torricelli, a physicist and mathematician from Faenza, made a discovery that would transform our understanding of the atmosphere. Torricelli was fascinated by the work of Galileo Galilei, who had theorized that air had weight. To test this theory, Torricelli conducted an experiment using a glass tube filled with mercury. He inverted the tube into a dish of mercury and observed that the mercury column did not completely empty into the dish, but rather settled at a specific height. Torricelli deduced that the weight of the atmosphere pushing down on the mercury in the dish was supporting the column of mercury in the tube. He had invented the barometer, an instrument that could measure atmospheric pressure. It provided scientists with a crucial tool for studying weather patterns, understanding atmospheric pressure systems, and predicting storms. The barometer became an essential instrument for navigation, meteorology, and countless other scientific fields forever changing how we understand and interact with the atmosphere. Our journey through Italian invention now takes a delightful detour to the world of coffee, a beverage that has captivated the globe. In the late 19th century as Italy embraced industrialization, a need arose for a faster, more efficient way to brew coffee. Angelo Moriando, a Turin-based businessman, rose to the challenge. In 1884 he patented the first known espresso machine, a marvel of steam-powered ingenuity. Moriando's invention, while rudimentary by today's standards, laid the groundwork for the modern espresso machine. It used steam pressure to force hot water through a bed of finely ground coffee, producing a concentrated, flavorful shot of coffee. His invention sparked a coffee revolution, leading to the development of the iconic espresso machines we know and love today. Our exploration of Italian ingenuity now takes to the skies, where dreams of flight have captivated humanity for centuries. In the early 20th century, as airplanes were taking to the skies, an Italian engineer named Corradino Descanio dared to imagine a different kind of flight vertical flight. Descanio, born in Popoli, was fascinated by the mechanics of flight. He believed that a machine could be built that could lift off the ground vertically, hover in mid-air, and fly in any direction. In 1930, after years of research and experimentation, Descanio achieved his dream. He designed and built the world's first practical helicopter, the D at 3. Descanio's helicopter, while primitive by today's standards, was a marvel of engineering. It proved that vertical flight was possible and paved the way for the development of the sophisticated helicopters we rely on today. Our journey through Italian innovation concludes in ancient Rome, a civilization that left an indelible mark on the world. The Romans were masters of engineering, and their innovations in arch construction and aqueduct design stand as testaments to their ingenuity. The arch, a seemingly simple structure, revolutionized architecture. The Romans perfected the use of the arch, understanding its ability to distribute weight evenly, creating strong and stable structures that could span vast distances. From the Colosseum to countless bridges and aqueducts that still stand today, the arch became a symbol of Roman power and ingenuity. The Romans' mastery of water management is equally impressive. Their aqueducts, marvels of engineering that carried fresh water over long distances, were crucial to the growth and prosperity of Roman cities. The Romans' legacy in arch construction and aqueduct design continues to inspire awe and wonder today a testament to the enduring power of human ingenuity. From the depths of history to the forefront of modern technology, 
Italian inventors have continuously shaped our world. Their creativity and ingenuity remind us of the endless possibilities of human innovation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Italy's incredible contributions to the world. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating stories of innovation and discovery.